you will see in the main menu is the uh, all the components that are actually available within the MPLAB Harmony. So, for example, um, under framework configuration, you'll see all various middleware like TCP/IP stack, USB library, graphics library, uh, Bluetooth library. You will see various drivers uh, that are applicable to the processor you selected. Um, so, and uh, at this point, uh, all you need to do is select which components you want and configure them. So, for example, I can select UR driver. I want to say yes. I want to use UR driver. Uh, I can, uh, you know, configure it the way I want it. And uh, the choices are very simple. It's uh, you know typical uh, choices you know, you will see for in this case UR driver like things like a baud rate. You know, do I want to use interrupts? You know, things like that. Um, also important thing here to note is that we have interactive help within the IDE as well. As I'm making selection within the, um, within the configurator um, and um, selecting yes or no or various options for a particular module, uh, the uh, MPLAB uh, will actually show me, uh, MPLAB configurator, MPLAB Harmony configurator will actually show me help on the right side associated with those choices. Um, so, for example, I can click on the line control. I have various choices for that option, and as soon as I click on it, you can see on the right side, it gives me interactive help explaining what each one of those choices uh, are. Uh, so, once I select it, for example, in this application, I want to say do nothing more than a UART. Um, use uh, just nothing more than UART module. So, I selected this module, made my configuration. All I have to do is just click on the generate button. Uh, this will save my configuration and it will generate appropriate files and uh, put them in my project. So now, when I go to my project, uh, I can see it's fully populated. I have my application files uh, and various other things and that I'm going to show you.